<clears throat> so it's only gone and taken me a good 11 to 12 years to finally buy a new computer. Um, I have been running a 2009 27-inch iMac. It was a quad-core, 2.6 quad-core. I upgraded it to a 2 terabyte internal hard drive uh, with 16 gigs of RAM. And uh, it's done me 11 years and, and it's still doing me. I've, I've only sold it because I thought I could take the cash from that and plow it into my next new computer. Com computer. And currently I've already got another iMac. This is one which uh, I've got from work and this is an R27 inch but it's only and this one's relatively new. Uh, this is a 2014 iMac that uh, I'm rocking here with only eight gigabytes of uh, RAM and uh, but a 3.5 quad core i5. So I thought pretty powerful and it does all the video editing that I need and it's, it's, it's the bomb. It's only got one terabyte of hard drive as well. So that was a big change going from a two terabyte down to a one terabyte. My data management, data workflow has had to change um, quite a lot through that time. So I've still I've used, I'm easily using around about, uh, what's that, about 500 gigabytes or so um, of storage um, in this. So anyway, I thought I was needing something to get that was a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, a little bit more mobile, something which I could link up to uh, an external monitor um, that maybe I could take out on jobs with me uh, for I go on holidays or if I'm shooting uh, in far flung locations. Um, and Apple have brought out their their beast of a of a new processor, the M1. And I was mm, I'm an I I'm an I was looking at the MacBook Air and I was like, this looks the business. You know, if I get into dongle gate, if I get into dongles and I, I really work on my external hard drive data management flow, I could totally rock this. And uh, the basic one, uh, the the basic MacBook Air, I thought, this is already a million times more powerful than my 2009 27-inch iMac. But seeing that it was slightly um, handicapped with a 7-core GPU instead of an 8-core GPU, um, but all having 8-core CPUs, I was like, uh, it's just going to be a, a niggling thing, thinking, what if I just had that one more core, will it be that 10% faster, does it make any difference, doesn't matter, probably. But then it's like... Nah, I want to go for the for the for the for the better one from Apple. So it's like I'm gonna get the 13-inch MacBook Air, 8-core CPU, 8-core GPU, 512 gigabyte storage. I think I could I could do that. And that was going for 1,250. And the fact that it doesn't have a fan, um, and it's just it's nothing's gonna get clogged up and it's super light. I was thinking this is oh 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 and it was like hovering over this, and just now. I didn't buy it because that one being 1,250, I then looked at the MacBook Pro 13 inch. So pretty much exactly the same, almost exactly the same weight, but has a longer battery, has a fan, which is like, uh, that's, that's annoying, that's something to break down. And the cheapest one was 1,300 pounds. Um, and there's almost no difference in terms of functionality, as a part of it's got like a, a, a thing at the top. <laughs> What's it called? Mag uh, touch bar. Never used that, never needed to use one, so it, that would be a new experience uh, doing that. But I was like, mm, I could get that, but it's half the memory and, it, and it's more expensive. No, I'm not going to get the MacBook Pro. But then, on Amazon, for a couple of days just now, there is a, already a discount on the MacBook Pro M1. So, the MacBook Pro which should be 1,300, is going for 1,192 pounds with free delivery. I was like, oh, okay. So I don't get to choose the color. It's only the 256 gigabyte uh, one. If you click on the 512 gigabyte one, that is back up to 1,500 or maybe 50 pounds off or something like that. But uh, I was like, okay, I'm not wanting to spend that amount of money for, for a laptop that I can easily break. So I'm, I'm going to have to figure out how to deal with a, a MacBook with only 250 gigabytes of RAM, uh, of, uh, of uh, memory, SSD memory, so nice and fast. But uh, in the end, going to need lots of new external hard drives. But I was like, wow, that is cheaper than the MacBook Air. And then... Saw so some uh, video reviews talking about the MacBook Pro, how long the battery lasts, how long it really lasts for. 
and it is astonishing. So I was like, oh, that does mean I can literally go away for a weekend, not even a weekend, like a, a five day trip to the Highlands, take my drone with me, take my cameras with me, bring them all, and I wouldn't even need to bring a, a charger. Oh, sounds good, sounds good. So that's what I've gone for. I have gone and bought myself the new MacBook Pro M1, which is with only eight gigabit, gigabytes of RAM, only 256 gigabytes of SSD. Oh, that's gonna be scary. But it's cheaper than the MacBook Air currently because it's got over a hundred. It's got 107 pounds off on the Amazon store. Um, I'll put links to that uh, down in the description down below. If you're, it might not be that in a couple of days' time. So if the, if I delay up, in fact, I'm gonna upload this straight away. I'm not gonna do any editing on this. Um, and uh, yeah, if, if you're if you've been umming and eyeing and you've been looking at the MacBook Air, knowing that you can get the Pro for over 100 pounds off already. That, that's what that's what pushed me over the edge. Uh, so I've gone and got that, um, and now now my next thing is trying to figure out what the hell do I buy now? <laughs> and there's so many extra things I need to buy. <laughs> so uh, the SanDisk Extreme uh, USB-C 10 gigabits a second, I think that's what that is. Um, read and write speed, I'm, I'm looking, I think that would be pretty good. Also, I like the fact this is rubberized and splash and dust resistant, that sounds good. And that was also a little bit discounted. You save 69 pounds, so we're normally over 200 pounds down to 159 pounds uh, with free delivery. I'm liking that. Why I'm liking is, is just the fact that it does seem tiny. So instead of carrying around <laughs> my current hard drives, yeah, granted these are desktop hard drives, uh, do I have one of my small ones? I don't know where my small ones are. Okay, but yeah, instead of carrying this two terabyte hard drive, uh, I could just be carrying around uh, a one terabyte, tiny little thing like that, that could literally fit in the folder of a case. So that was the other thing I was looking for was, uh, did I find any cases that I liked? Yeah, so this case here, which I thought looked quite good, looked like a nice kind of rubberized hard case for the iMac Pro with these little legs. They would probably break, so I'm not expecting much from them. Uh, but then came with a nice little zip up uh, case here. So that would be great for taking on trips and sticking the the uh, stuff in the actual case. Uh, I think I've got a picture. Yeah, you could put your phone, your charger, your phone and all that kind of stuff in there. I think that would be... That'd be pretty good. And then I was like, I need to get a good monitor because currently the iMac, 27 inch iMac is the business, fantastic screen. The photos when I'm editing them come out exactly as, uh, you know, when they're printed exactly as they are on the screen. It doesn't change if I go at a different angle or if I go up or down. The other monitor I got was only about 120 pounds and that one is terrible from any angle. The, it just looks terrible. <laughs> so I need to get a good monitor. So I'm trying to figure out what monitor I get, and again, not wanting to spend huge amounts of money, but this 300, there was one which I was seeing, which is, yeah, is it this one with the USB ports at the back? No, not that one. Oh, oh, okay, this one is slightly breaking the bank. It's 700 pounds for a 32 inch curved ultra wide with Thunderbolt, and it's got speakers inside as well. Oh, and it looks nice. Ah, uh, so that's kind of what I was thinking for, like, I'm going from a 27 inch to something maybe a wee bit shorter but longer for that timeline editing uh, requirements. That looks like it would be a fantastic uh, use of space. And that just looks pretty, but that's £700. But it does have, like, USB-C um, ports at the back for you to um, get connected with. I just thought that sounded pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, the dongles, uh, the dongle situation, because at the moment, uh, for me to put my my GoPro SSD, uh, my, my GoPro memory cards or my camera memory cards, I'm just using a, a wired up, granted it's a USB 3 uh, connection, but the MacBook Pro is a, is a, a USB-C, so this wouldn't work, I would need a dongle. So if I bought it and I had nothing else, I'd be like, oh, I can't actually use anything on it so that'd be a slight issue there so uh looking at dongles and there they there's a a world of pain trying to figure out which dongles do what and how they work and how many pieces that you want you definitely want an sd card and a micro sd card reader definitely want that and i think do i want an extra 
two Thunderbolt cables going in because then I could have one going up to the monitor and then one giving power and I, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen them. Um... So, okay, effectively, uh, just run out of time here. So just last uh, second, just saying, MacBook Pro, there is a discount currently on at the moment um, on the new one, which sounds amazing. Have any of you got experience of dealing with your uh, work, your uh, data management of going from a two terabyte to 250? six gigabytes. Um, hard case, uh, which ones do you think are best? And dongles. Am I right in thinking they're total hell? Um, or or is there an easier way to, to figure this one out? If you haven't noticed, I have been sweating quite a lot uh, through this video because I'm currently going through withdrawal symptoms uh, from painkillers, um, which I've been dealing with sciatica pain. But I got surgery, um, back uh, emergency back surgery actually. Um, just uh, one week ago and the pain's gone so I'm not taking any painkillers but currently suffering the effects of uh, morphine and codeine uh, withdrawal just now so yeah just just standing here doing nothing dripping with sweat <laughs> whoo painkillers not the best thing for long-term use that's for sure uh, but yeah keen to know your your um your experiences uh, with this. And if any of you have bought the MacBook Pro, uh, if you're excited about it as much as I am. Cheers, speak to you later, bye-bye.